welcome back to my channel and welcome to another empties video. This is a special empties video because not only is it empties, which if you love empties videos, I have a ton of them, I'll link them down below for you, but this is my very first project pan update. So I made an entire video all about 2016 project pan. There's a list of products that I really, really want to finish up this year and I have finished up quite a bit of them. So. I have empties, I have project pan update, I'm wearing pajamas by the way, never mind me. <laughs> it's a little bit more of a casual video, so let's hop in and let me show you my trash. I always start out with like skincare and stuff because it's always at the top of my bag because it's always like the biggest products. So in case you're wondering why I go in that order, but I have quite a bit of Vanilla Bean Noel Bath and Body Works body care, so I have a body spray which props to me, I never finish body sprays because like even if you squirt 10 squirts of this every day, it still takes months to finish. So I finished up an entire body spray, which is awesome. A shower gel, a lotion, and I think that's it. I also have a couple more Bath & Body Works. Put those on the floor. Free up some hands. I have the Frosted Winter Woods um, lotion. This is just the Shea lotion. I like this one better, the 24 hour um, moisture lotion in the tube as opposed to the other bottle because it's my skin's really dry, especially this time of year. So I finished that up. Shower gel to matte. And then I also have this shower gel right here. So this is the Olay Fresh Outlast uh, Crisp Pear and Fuji Apple um, Shower Gel. I really, really liked this. Oh, the smell is just like a fresh, clean scent. Smells like, you, smells like you just got out of the shower. But I bought this on a whim and I really, really liked it. So I'm not going to need shower gel for a really long time because I have so much, but I liked that. I have a shampoo. Yeah, this is a shampoo. This is the Rusk Centuries. Centuries, not Centuries. Centuries. I can't even tell because it's all rubbed off. Um, I'll tell you, I didn't really like the Rusk products. I wasn't super impressed because they smell really good, but they don't perform very well. So I won't be buying any more Rusk products. I have four dry shampoos, two of the Floral Essence and two of the Wild and Daring, Sassy and Daring, the leopard print one. But Tea Star Shampoo is my absolute favorite. You guys know that, so I finished four this time. I have three makeup wipes. And I'm actually surprised I only have three. Um, all different this time too, which is so, uh, it never happened. I have one of the Pond's Original Fresh Makeup Wipes, the Philosophy Makeup Removing Wipes, and then I think these were Kroger brand. I will tell you, Pond's is my favorite. They smell good. The smell like lingers all day. I love them so much. Philosophy, I will not repurchase. In fact, I think I've already told you guys how much I dislike this product. But it came in a kit. I had a kit with a purity face wash and this like was free or something. So I used them because I had them. But for the price, these are like $20 for a pack and they are not worth it at all. And then the Kroger ones, I got these on super discount for a dollar a pack. And for a dollar, I mean, I'd buy them again if they were a dollar. I have one hair care product in here. This is the AG Color Care Fast Dry Heat Protection. It's a blow dry spray. I used this in one of my hair tutorials, which I'll link down below for you guys. I don't like this as much as the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. I much prefer the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray, but this was on sale. This was $8, originally $24, so I thought I'd try it out. It wasn't terrible, but it doesn't work as well as the Kenra Blow Dry Spray, so. I have another lotion. This is a baby hand cream. So this is the Soap & Glory Hand Food Hand Cream. I will tell you, this has been a lifesaver this past month or so because my hands have been so dry. This is one of my all-time favorite hand creams and I'm not surprised that I finished it all up. I have two facial moisturizers here. You can tell I was super moisturized these past couple of months. So I have the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar. You can see this is completely cleaned out. This is my favorite facial moisturizer. It's like a whipped texture, but it still really, really intensely like hydrates your skin. So I love that. I've already repurchased it. I'm already using it again. And then for the more dry parts of my face, because in the winter time I get like really chapped cheeks and like sometimes my forehead and like down here gets really, really dry. I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This stuff can be used on your hands, your face, your body, wherever, and it is like amazing. I swear, just because I use this, my face just feels 
better. It is a great, great, great face cream. I've already repurchased it, and sometimes I put it on my hands also just because it works so well. I have three, nope, four, any more? Four false lashes. I have been on a lash kick lately, and in fact, I just recently got um, lash extensions, so I won't really be having very many lashes anymore because I have permanent falsies on now, but I did go through four falsies the past couple of months. So I have an Ardell Demi Wispy, which is my ultimate favorite. I don't remember what these were, but this is an Ardell. It's 116. The Kiss Shy Lashes are like one of my favorites. Um, I think I might like these more than the Demi Wispies. I don't know, they're neck and neck, but those are amazing. And then these are new. These are also by the brand Kiss, and they're called the Blooming Lash. And they have like three layers. So normally falsies are just like one swoop, like one layer. These have like, they're stacked on top of each other. So there's like three layers all in one. These were really, really awesome. I found these right before I put my lash extensions on. So as soon as I get these taken off, you know, whenever I decide I'm done with them, I'm definitely gonna get more of these. I have another skincare. Oh, I have two skincare. These are both eye creams. I didn't see these. Oh, you know what? This is also technically skincare. So the first eye cream I have is the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker Eye. This stuff is really, really good eye creams. You can see I totally cleaned it out. This stuff is really pricey. I think it was like $80, but it lasts for a really long time. And this is one of the only eye creams I can truly say I really did see a difference in my wrinkles <laughs> or my smile lines under my eyes. Um, it's really thick. It's really creamy. It's sold at Ulta and Sephora and Macy's and Dillard's, so it's very like accessible. And I might like this more than the Kiehl's eye cream, or they might be like neck and neck comparable, but I'll definitely repurchase this, you know, in the future. The second eye cream is Kiehl's. So this is the Midnight Recovery Eye. Um, this is really good for nighttime use, so it's not quite as thick and heavy as most of the eye creams that I like, so it's not as thick as the Philosophy one. It's not as thick as the other Kiehl's eye cream that I like, the one in the orange container, but it has like a rejuvenating, kind of like, almost like a menthol feeling to it. It has like a, I don't know, I think it's the caffeine. There is caffeine in it. So it's a deep puffer and it just really helps my under eyes to look better overnight. I've already repurchased it. And then the last like semi eye cream, this is the Benefit Puff Off. Um, it's like a deep puffing cream. It's more of like a makeup product, but I did finish this up. I don't think I'll buy this again because I honestly didn't see too much of a difference when I use this. It's fun to use. And you know, it has like a little iron thing on it and you like put it under your eyes and it's nice and cooling. But I think it's more of like a fun product, not something I'll buy again. All right, I got a nail polish remover. So this is the Ulta nail polish remover. This is my favorite, favorite nail polish remover. It works absolutely amazingly. I haven't repurchased it yet because I have another one that I'm trying to use up, but I'll definitely buy it again. The last thing I have that is not part of Project Pan, actually there's two things that are not part of Project Pan. Um, the first thing is the Dior Air Flash Matte Touch um, Setting Powder. So this is a powder, but it's in an aerosol can. This stuff, I bought it and I was really excited. I made a video all about it when I first started my channel. I'll link it down below for you. But I think it's, it's one of those things that's fun and it's cool and it's like nice to try out new things, but it's not very practical. Like it's not practical to spray powder on your face and it's not practical to spray it on your brush and then apply it to your face. It's just, it's quite a hassle to use, so I won't be buying it again, but it works well. This is something that was not in Project Pan, but it is a makeup product, so this is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer, and I even went so far as to take out the little stopper inside and scrape it out. That's my trick. I do that with everything that has a doe foot applicator, like lip gloss. I have a concealer here, anything like that. If you take out the stopper once you think you're done, you are not done. There's so much more product that you can kind of like scrape out. Anyways, this is my holy grail eyeshadow product, uh, eyeshadow primer, and I will definitely keep using it. Everything else is part of Project Pan, and I have a lot that I went through, like way more than I thought I was going to finish so soon. So I've been doing Project Pan for about two, two and a half months now, 
And I finished up a ton of stuff on my list already, so maybe I need to do more. I need to add more to it. So I'll start with eyebrow products. So I finished up two Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencils. And today I was looking for this pencil because I have the L'Oreal Brow Styler and I was going to do like a comparison and I couldn't find it and I was like, I know I have a second one. No, I don't. They're both in here and I checked and they're both completely gone and used up. So I'm not sad. I'm not mad. It's These are great brow pencils and it's probably something that I will keep going back to. But for now, I have so many brow products that I won't buy this again yet. I have three mascaras in here. So I have one drugstore. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. I really, really liked this wand. So it's kind of tiny and it tapers and it gets kind of larger as it goes out. I liked this a lot for a drugstore product. It didn't flake. It was nice and true, true black. And I really, really liked this mascara. Now I have lash extensions and I don't need mascara. but. <coughs> I loved that. And then I have two high-end mascaras. So I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. This is another one with a really teeny tiny plastic wand, similar to the CoverGirl Super Sizer, which is probably why I like both of them. These are really good to just get the inner corner, the outer corner, every single lash. You're not missing anything. Love that. And then Better Than Sex, you guys know, is my all-time favorite. It has a huge wand, the complete opposite of the CoverGirl and the YSL one. But this just gives you so much volume, and I love all of these mascaras. I have one eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Trooper Liner. This is a great liquid liner, but it's all dried up. I used it all up, so when I'm in need of another liquid liner, I will definitely go back to this one. I have lots of face products. In fact, everything that's left is face products. So I have the Benefit Pore Professional. This was also on Project Pan. All oh, this is Project Pan. I don't know why I said that. This is one of my favorite, favorite facial primers. It really fills in your pores, makes your skin look nice and smooth and like all one level, fills in the, cater the craters on your face. I love this so much. I've already repurchased it. I finished up a foundation. So this is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish, Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. I have to say I'm so glad it's gone, but I liked it also. I think I liked it more in the summertime when my skin wasn't as dry because when my skin is dry, this like kind of sticks to the dry areas of my face and it's not the best at mattifying, but it's a nice for just like a little something. So it's great if you're dry skinned, you might like this. Um, I'm sorry, if you're oily skinned, you might like this and probably more towards the summertime. I finished up one of my all-time favorite concealers. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the color Light. I love this stuff. You can see I took the stopper out just like I was telling you before. I already have another one of these. This is the best concealer for your under eyes, for all over your face, really. It's weightless but it's full coverage, it's not cakey. I love that it has a doe foot applicator because it's so, so, so easy to apply and nothing has beat this yet. I just, I haven't found something better than this concealer yet. I finished up a setting powder. So this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder. You can see it is all gone. I have a little bit left in the corners over here, but it was getting to the point where it was ruining my brush trying to scrape it out of the corners. So I figured, Let's call it a day, let's put it to rest. Unfortunately, I can't purchase this because they stopped making it. I don't know why they stopped making it because this is a fantastic setting powder. It's translucent and it's pressed so it's not messy. And I really, really liked it, so I wish they still made it because I would totally stock up on it. Then I finished a bronzer. I've gone through probably four of these total in my makeup life. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You can see, totally gone. This is my favorite, favorite bronzer because it's matte, it's light, it's perfect for my fair skin. You can use it to contour with if you're in a hurry. You can use it as eyeshadow if you're in a hurry. It smells like chocolate. It's just the best. I haven't found a bronzer better than this one yet. This last product, I'm so proud of myself for finishing this because I have had this forever and ever and ever and I feel like it was a magic blush and every time I thought it was almost gone, like it would just refill itself somehow. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Exposed. You can see it's totally gone. That's pan. That's the mirror. 
I love this blush. It is my favorite. I have a backup. I can't live without it. It's the perfect, like, mauvey, brownish, pinkish blush. It's perfect for every day, all year long. I love it so, so, so much. I've heard that the new Exposed, like the reformulated Exposed, isn't quite the same color, which scares me. So I hope that it is, but I've already repurchased this, and this is something that I'm probably the most proud of finishing up. All right, guys. Well, that is an update on my project pan and all of my empties for the past couple of months. Let me know down below if you like these types of videos, if you like updates on my project pan. Um, let me know if you're also doing project pan so I can go check out your videos and see, you know, what's on your 2016 bucket list, have you will. So thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.